This is TV274 production, a channel meant to spread evangelical mission, reflections, church news, interviews on church matters, social political issues, and other marriage matters, both young and nice content, all kinds of invitation cards, even movies. This is TV274 production. To our Lord Jesus Christ, both now and forever. Good morning, dear people of God. Today is the third Sunday in the ordinary time of the year, year B, and of course, the Sunday of the Word of God. Our readings today come from the book of Jonah, chapter 3, from verse 1 to 5 and verse 10, and the second reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 7, from verse 29 to 31. And our gospel pericope comes from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 1, verse 14 to 20. Between the good news Christ preached in the gospel and the message of God to Jonah is a clarion call for repentance. But over and above uh, the themes embedded in the readings of today, we will reflect briefly on one particular theme, the urgency of the call to repentance, the urgency of the call to repentance, and the need to answer this call as a matter of immediacy, as a matter of urgency. The command of God to Jonah in our first reading has two consecutive imperatives. The first one is the word arise, and the second one is the word to go. Now, arise in Hebrew text especially in the Hebrew Bible, is pronounced ku, kum. And kum is always followed by an action verb, an action word. And in our case, we have go. So whenever the, the Bible says arise, there is always the tendency that the word that follows it must be an action word, go. It is not like arising from sleep and stretching yourself, but it is a call for action, a call for an immediate action. And in the case of Jonah, it was an action to go to the land of the Ninevites. So it is important that we go home with at least three lessons from this theme of the urgency of the call to repentance. Number one, we might not always be fortunate, just like Jonah. Jonah was fortunate that God called him the first time and he was reluctant to answer the call. We remember how he fled and went to Tarshish and then from there the, the well swallowed him and then he was spit out. And then the second call, which constitutes our reading today, the second call comes again to Jonah. So in our lives, the word of God might not be repeated. The message might not be repeated. We might not be fortunate, like Jonah, to have this call of God come to us more than once. And that is why it is important to always answer this call as soon as it comes to us. Because we might not be fortunate like Jonah was. The word came again the second time. Arise and go. Because he did not treat it with the urgency needed in the first call. On the other hand also, in the part of the people of Nineveh, we might not also be fortunate like uh, the Ninevites, who knew the actual time they had for them to repent. The word of God came to Jonah and said, tell them they have only 40 days, in this case, the destruction of the land. They had only 40 days before judgment. In our own case, we might not be fortunate to know the actual time because it is transient. We might not be fortunate. And that is why it is important to always treat this call with urgency, no matter the channel it comes from, because we might not be fortunate like Jonah, we might not be fortunate like the people of Nineveh, to know the time when the destruction comes. The second point is, because we might not be fortunate, there is no time for anything else. And this statement, there is no time for anything else, presupposes at least two complementary uh, uh, things. Number one, our lives on earth is transient. Our life is temporal. 
Our life, it's not permanent. It is changing. It is transitional. We are moving from a life that is mundane to a life that is supernatural. And our life here is not permanent. And because of that, we have to dedicate ourselves, dedicate our lives to the lasting things, to the things that will constitute our eternal joy in the hereafter. And we shouldn't continue to act like those who are so comfortable in this life, as if our life depends and rests here on earth. Our life is transient. And because our life is transient, there is this urgency that any other thing should wait. Any other thing that is not important, things that are ephemeral, things that do not constitute the substance of, of our lives as the people of God, can wait for the important things. In fact, the important things should be made the important things. And what are the important things? In the gospel, Christ says, the time is now. The time is short. This is the time of fulfillment. And there is no other time. And St. Paul says this, that we have no time. We are running out of time because of the transient nature of our lives on earth. And because of that, there is no time for ephemerals. There is no time for mundane. There is no time for trivials. We have to focus on what is important. And the important thing is repentance. The important thing is answering this urgent call as soon as possible, as soon as it comes, as it comes to us. Another important point we have to understand is the contrast, an important contrast between Jonah in the first reading and then the four disciples or apostles of Jesus Christ in the gospel. Jonah in the first reading only responded to this call, only acted urgently with immediacy to this call when the call came the second time. The first time it came, he trivialized it. He treated it with mundane, with disdain. But in the gospel, Especially, this is characteristics of the Gospel of Mark. In the Gospel of Mark, we understand that up to 40 times or more, the theme of urgency, immediacy, the tune and the mood of immediacy is seen in the Gospel of Mark. And in our Gospel today, we find also that theme played out. That the four disciples were called, Simon, Peter, and his brother Andrew, and then James and John, they were called by Jesus Christ. Jesus said, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. And the gospel says, immediately or at once, they left everything and followed the Lord. In the case of jo Jonah, when the message came the first time, he did not follow the call at once. He ran, he shrouded from the call. He sneaked away from the call and only had to respond with immediacy when the call came the second time. We have to act. We have to act like the disciples in the gospel. And not like Jonah. Not waiting for the second time or waiting for the third time. We have to act with immediacy. Just like Andrew and Simon and John and James who left everything and followed Jesus Christ immediately at once without any uh, delay the last point or lesson we have to learn is this that the word of god is addressed to the person to the habinga to the person who carries this this message and also it is addressed to the people for whom this message is meant for the message of god that came to jonah was not just meant for the transformation or conversion of the Ninevites. It was also meant to affect the life of the carrier. It was also meant to affect the lives of the harbinger of this message, such that when the message of God comes to us, we should not just see ourselves as those who just speak to the people. The message of God, the message of repentance, without affecting our life, without inculcating or appropriating that message also to our lives. In fact, Jonah also had, had issues. He was suffering from a particular sin that, that the word of God needed to affect his life also. Jonah was, 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 was suffering from a sin. At that point, the message came. He was suffering from acedia. Acedia is a sort of spiritual sloth. 
the Catechism of the Catholic Church in paragraph 2094 defines acidia as the act of refusing the joy that comes from God and to be repelled by divine goodness. God wanted to show these people mercy. And Jonah was repaired from this mercy, was repaired from this natural goodness that flowed to God. He didn't want it. In fact, another dimension of this acidia also can be seen in believing that spiritual attacks are so difficult to be fulfilled. Jonah at first had this issue. And because of that, that message of God also should not just affect the Ninevites. It had also the onus to affect the life of the person, the minister, carrying the message. So that you don't just sit at the, uh, at the altar or stand at the pulpit preaching to people and uh, expecting their lives to be transformed without your own lives getting transformed. The message, the call to repentance, is as important as it is to the people, as it is also, or as it should be also, to our own lives. And it is important as we celebrate the Sunday of the Word of God to understand that our lives revolve around the Word of God. And this Word of God has to do with the urgency that it demands that we move out on our way from our comfort zones and respond to this Word of God. It might not be easy responding to the Word of God. It was not easy for Jonah to move to the, to the, to the land of the Nineveh. It was not easy to travel uh, many miles just to go preach to that great city. It was not easy for the apostles to leave their trade, to leave what gave them money, to leave their father, and just to respond to the call of God. The, the, answering the call of God, answering the urgent message of God to repentance will not always be easy, but it has to be answered because we have no time. And our lives are going. People are dying. There is no formula to die. And you can't say you still have the time for repentance, that you go for checkup every now and then, that you travel abroad and that you take care of yourselves, or that you eat what you're supposed to eat, or that you check yourself, you exercise daily. And for that reason, you are not yet ready to, to, to transit. No, there is no formula to die. A young person dies, an adult dies. An old man dies, a young person dies. For that reason, because we do not know the time, because we do not know the hour, we have to treat the message of God with the urgency that it requires, with the immediacy that it requires, so that we shall not be found wanting when the, the consequences of not answering the call comes to us. We ask the good Lord to help us to hear the word of God, and not just hearing it, but to treat it with the urgency that it requires. Not hearing the word of God and just keeping it or trampling upon it, but hearing the word of God and acting upon it with immediacy, just like the apostles did in the gospel. They left everything, left their father, left their net, and followed the Lord. May this be our portion through Jesus Christ our Lord. Peace be with you. This is a TV274 production, a channel meant to spread evangelical mission, reflections, church news, interviews on church matters, social political issues, and other marriage matters, both young and nice content, all kinds of invitation cards, even movies. This is a TV274 production.